Hi guys, this is Eva from Beharbo Med Spa, Miami and Atlanta. And today I want to talk to you about aging skin. <clears throat> and I personally would fall into the category as well of aging skin because I'm definitely in that stage uh, of aging. I am uh, going to be in a couple of weeks uh, 69. So I fall, fall into the category of aging skin. I happen to know professionally what aging skin is, and I happen to know a little bit more uh, also from my personal life. So I want to explain a little bit to people that are past age 40 and 50, uh, what happens to the human skin so, uh, so that you have a little bit better understanding. So when you, you know, from very young age to about 28, 29, sort of everything goes this way, upwards. You know, our hormones, everything works perfectly and our skin is glowing and in our 30s, our skin is glowing mm -hmm. and usually we look wonderful and the skin is thick enough and there, there's any wrinkles. Some people might be predisposed to some wrinkles around the eyes, but the skin is basically in its prime. And then from 30 on, this is what starts to happen. It sort of like levels off for several years and then it starts going slowly, 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 slowly down. And what that down uh, for means is this. We are starting to get laxer skin. But why? Because we are, you, we are starting to diminish in our hormones because hormones are responsible also for laxicity and strength of our skin. Lack of hormones, plus many other things, are responsible for skin aging, for skin thinning out, for discoloration. Many things that happen with our skin past 30, past 40 and then onwards is directly related to our hormonal structure, is directly related to our thyroid is directly related to diabetes is directly re, uh, directly related to the reduction of our estrogen and then progesterone and testosterone so as we are aging as we are aging and then past 40 then reaching 50 and then we are going into menopause and when we go into menopause so we went like this, like this, and then we go like this. Because when you enter the stage of menopause, that means that you are now in a stage where you're losing your period. So your hormones go whack up, go really down because you are losing suddenly such a big, there is from here to here, there's a big gap. So you are, you are losing progesterone, you're losing testosterone, you're losing, you're losing estrogen. And this is, when all these things do happen is when skin suddenly starts really wrinkling, when skins really start aging, uh, when a lot of uh, unpleasant things do happen with the skin, when a lot of uh, discoloration as well happens when age spots come onto the skin because we lost all these hormones, then we might have elevated thyroid, we might have uh, problems with diabetes, then we have inflammation of the skin. And when the inflammation mm -hmm. is in our skin, when the skin is constantly in a state uh, of inflammation and irritation, that also hurts the skin, thins out the skin, wrinkles the skin, smoking, smoking, is another uh, condition that will age your skin. Uh, first of all, prematurely, not only will it give you wrinkles around the upper lip, but it also ages the skin and reduces the elasticity of the of the and the texture of the of the epidermis of the skin because you're depriving your skin of oxygen because uh, uh, of because of smoking. So smoking is another condition that uh, will create. A, a, a damage uh, to your skin. But in general, it's menopause, it's hormones, uh, it's medications, it's inflammation, it's diabetes, it's thyroid condition, a, 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 a not proper functioning kidneys. All these cause 
aging of the skin. And if these conditions are premature, then the skin will age prematurely. So what is one to do when you age uh, and you want to prevent it? Or you want to slow it down? Because you can't prevent aging. Aging is a natural process of the human being. Uh, but you can slow it down and certain things you can prevent. So prevention is a huge word in uh, uh, the vocabulary of the human being. Because I am always a believer that prevention is better and easier than correction. So what would I consider prevention? And I will speak for myself, ladies and gentlemen. Staying out of the sun is one of the things. Not smoking is another thing. Uh, inflammation, reducing as much inflammation in your body and in your skin as possible is another thing. Taking vitamins and supplements is extremely, is extremely important. Taking vitamins and supplements. On top of that, and this is again my personal, my personal belief, I am a big believer in bioidentical hormone replacement therapy for me. When I went into menopause, I think it was, I was 52, when I went into menopause, I then went and by, by uh, a, a medical professional, by a physician who specialized in hormone replacement therapy. I did a lot of blood work. I did a lot of tests and I was put on a hormone replacement therapy, which is 15 years now. And that hormone replacement therapy was very, and is very beneficial for me, first of all, for my skin, because I was able to bring my hormone levels that I take my progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone to the level of when I was, let's say, 45. And my skin in general, not mm -hmm. perfect, but in general, is at the level of 45. So, and that is due to the hormone replacement therapy. The same thing is my brain. Because I have these supplemental hormones in my body, my brain is functioning. And I take vitamins and minerals. My brain is functioning to the best of its ability at age 69. If I did not take hormone replacement therapy, I believe that the story would be very different. So I take hormone replacement therapy and I take vitamins and I take supplements. And obviously I have a very good regimen for my skincare. I take very good care of my skin. And I use a lot of wonderful products that I happen to be fortunate enough because I formulate and I make the products that I use on my skin. But the combination of everything, all of it together, is what causes uh, the skin to age slow. Of course, I will age. Of course. Of course, I will not remain looking the same way at 69 when I will be 89. That obviously is not possible. But I will look much better than many other people because I am taking these preventative measures and I am helping my skin age slowly slowly and as best that I can. So this is my suggestion. This is just my personal thing. Uh, cleansing your face. When you reach a point uh, in your life past 40, I think that oil cleansers should be the base, should be your vibers. I think wonderful oil cleansers are so good and so healthy for your skin. Uh, and when you lose your periods altogether, and all, all cleansers should be the one thing that you never give up to cleanse to cleanse your face, whether it's removing makeup or whether you're washing your face twice a day with all cleansers and good serums that can replenish and hold moisture in your skin, like like hyaluronic acid that have. Uh, diacinamide that have copper that have a lot of wonderful that have vitamin c's they have great ingredients in them and peptides that help to plump up the skin and nourish the skin is very important and the most important is sunblock staying out or staying out of the sun now when it comes to diet it's a different story i don't per se eat red meat but it's 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 to everybody i eat fish 
but I don't eat I don't eat uh, red meat. I eat a lot a lot of vegetables. I eat fruits, but more vegetables, uh, and I mm-hmm. eat I take a lot of supplements. Uh, so th- I believe the diet has a lot uh, a lot to do with it. So just wanted to share this with you guys, and this is just like my personal story and my general observation for women and how the process work and what works on your skin. If you have more questions, you would like me to talk about other topics or go more into detail, feel free to contact me at medspa33154 at gmail.com. That is medspa33154 at gmail.com. And let me know what you would like me to talk about. If you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them. Okay? Thank you, guys. Ciao, ciao. Eva, bye.